Hey everybody and welcome to another learn to digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today is another one of our back to basics videos about adding lettering to a design and I'm going to show you how to do this and you should be able to do this in every level um, of Hatch. So let's get started why don't we? So the first thing is we want to bring in a design. So we're going to go up here and it's open design. So let's go there and give it a second to open. Now I put it on my desktop just to make it easy to find. So let's go here to desktop and here it is our beautiful angel. Now I got this angel from uh, the ultimate stash.com and I actually made a gorgeous gift for my mother-in-law um, out of this and all I did was stitch it out in gold thread on black I'll uh, post a picture of it and I added some lettering so let's do that so this happens to be an EMB file because in the ultimate stash you can get the EMB files but if this is a normal stitch file we don't want to change the size of it once you start with stitch files are made for stitching and working files are made for working. I also, even though it's an EMB, I wouldn't change it because it's gorgeous the way it is. And sometimes when you change the size of things, it, it makes a bit of a mess. Definitely for stitch files, please do not adjust your stitch files. The, it, the, there's no embroidery software that can compensate for it. So you cannot take a eight by 10 design and bring it down to four by four. You will have a hockey puck, as we say here in Canada, and an absolute mess. So let's not do it. So let's start with that. So we brought in our file. Let's do some lettering. And we want to go right here to lettering and monogramming. And let's do some lettering and it comes up. So we're going to put um, let's do digitizing G. There we go. This computer's a bit slow. It's updating, made, and then enter easy. And there it is right there. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm going to make that just a smidgen bigger. Um, I always tend to do things a little bit bigger for videos just so you guys can see them. And I want this in a red, gold, red, my Christmas colors. Now that you have the lettering up, um, you don't have to just leave it like that. We can do a little bit of lettering art. We could put this on top and see how it fits nicely in between there. I kind of like that. You can, let's take off the easy part. So we just have one line and we can curve it if we want to bring it around. Actually, what we should do is make it longer. So easy, digitizing made easy. There we go. Now we can put it around in a curve and you can play around with it and make it fit a bit better. That might be a bit, little bit curly. I kind of like it though. I absolutely kind of like it. We can make it longer. We can space out the lettering if you want. We can even, let's go into our reshape. And once you go into the reshape, you see the start and end, and you can change the radius of the circle. So all I'm doing is left clicking and dragging it out. And to me, that looks a little bit better. So let's go back to select and there you go. That's how quick and easy it is to make a quick gift or something you want to frame or something for yourself. Do something for yourself here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.